So I do like to use the term filter issue because we know that most, if not all, of the type of visual symptoms that are experienced are largely ongoing visual stimuli that are entering into the consciousness, for instance. So we know that there's a low level of activity in the retina that is occurring all of the time, but it falls below our ability to consciously recognize it or to even stimulate other areas of the brain that sit in the back of the brain. And so one possibility, or at least one easy way to explain it, is to use the term filter. So if we can filter out lower noise that comes from our visual system, or filter out information that's processed already so that we don't continuously process it, such as we see with trails or with a condition uh, part of visual snow syndrome called palinopsia, where you see a persistence of an image you've seen. If we can filter that out after it's been processed or continuously filter this low level activity, it may be a, a method that our, our brains are you know, accustomed to, to performing, but then somehow that filter is broken. So filter is an excellent word. It doesn't describe the exact sort of neural processes that are occurring, but it's a good way to think about um, the symptoms that people have and why they're occurring.